As per the National Park Service, a shift in the weather fanned flames in the Sequoia National Park in the Sierra Nevada on Friday. Two lightning-sparked wildfires in California have now merged and made a run to the edge of a grove of ancient sequoias. This happened as they tried to protect the world's largest tree by wrapping its base in protective foil. As per the National Park Service, a shift in the weather fanned flames in the Sequoia National Park in the Sierra Nevada on Friday. The flames reached the westernmost tip of the giant forest, where it scorched a grouping of sequoias known as the Four Guardsmen. This further led to entrance to the grove of 2,000 sequoias. The firefighters wrapped the base of the General Sherman tree in fire-resistant aluminium of the type used in wildland firefighter emergency shelters and to protect historic wooden buildings. Fire spokeswoman Katie Hooper said that it was not immediately known how the four guardsmen, which received the same treatment. According to the National Park Service, the General Sherman tree is the largest in the world by volume, at 52,508 cubic feet. It is 275 feet high and has a circumference of 103 feet at ground level. Still, devastation would not be without precedent, as the castle fire proved last year. What's more, firefighters on the KNP complex are battling challenging topography. Though the giant forest sits on something like a plateau, the nearby area where the fire is burning is steep, rocky and replete with drainages, making it difficult for crews to get ahead of the flames, officials said. Resources are also spread thin, as the nearby windy fire, just south of the KNP complex, has grown to more than 2,500 acres with no containment. It has crept into a sequoia grove, although officials have not yet been able to get close enough to assess any damage. During a community meeting Tuesday night, Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks supped. Clay Jordan called the KNP complex a very high priority and said federal and state resources had been assigned to the blaze. I will advise you up front that the fire behavior we've been seeing across the West, with this period of drought, has made these fires less predictable, Jordan said. When we talk about crystal balls, what's the fire going to do? That's a really tough question for us to answer. Some residents and champions of the massive trees said they will be watching anxiously to see what the fire will do in the days to come. Outdoors enthusiast Aaron Greeson of Pasadena used to make a point of visiting the Mariposa Grove of giant sequoias during frequent visits to Yosemite. She described the sequoias, along with similarly towering redwoods, as sacred. The 44-year-old has been too shaken to return to the grove since a windstorm this year knocked down at least 15 of the stately trees, and she has been rattled by reports that wildfires are threatening more of the giants. There's been a lot of sad news in our world lately, and I don't think I can take seeing numerous of the big trees full in right now, said Greeson, who works for a nonprofit that supports frontline healthcare workers. She hopes people in the community will come together and take steps to reduce the risk of catastrophic wildfires, including addressing climate change and respecting forest closures. What does it mean when you start getting down to the last tiny groves of these sacred trees? That's pretty profound. I mean, that gets us into like the whole Dr. Seuss's Lorax stuff, she said. That's what we have to protect. That's what we have to fight for. Colden, of UC Merced, said that if any of the giant sequoia trees burn, it would be yet another casualty of climate change. A lot of these trees are over 3,000 years old, and that's a long history to lose, Colden said. How can you be Sequoia National Park if you don't have any sequoia left?